We are connected. You and me. Me and the world. And me to myself. In ways that we haven't yet begun to appreciate. We are not separate from the world. We are engaged in the world all the time. We are participants in the world that we are creating. I've realized so many uh, different projects in my life and made so many experiences and now I'm searching for a totally new kind of project and a new vision. Desde que lo he descubierto para mí ha sido una puerta que se ha abierto, ¿no? Ha sido un desarrollo continuo personal, un crecimiento de pareja y una gran gran ayuda para el propio proyecto en el que estoy, ¿no? For me, Dragon Dreaming is a way that I can express myself, that I can express my purpose. Dragon Dreaming is uh, a community of compassionate uh, practitioners, of building community and making projects that have a contribution for the world, make people feel alive, experience themselves in a new way, and basically build successful projects. The so Dragon Dreaming is um, a way of making people's dreams come true. That you have a dream, you have an intention, you want to um, live in a better world. Dragon Dreaming is a way that helps you do that. And it helps you do that by understanding the nature of the creative process itself and bringing that creative process to bear on the outcomes that you want to see in terms of the sort of world in which you wish to live. Dragon Dreaming talks about four steps to every project. Uh, there's a dreaming stage that is at the beginning of a project, a planning stage, a doing stage, and last of all, a celebration stage. And Dragon Dreaming itself can be fitted into those four categories. So the dream of Dragon Dreaming is how do we really build a sustainable win-win-win world that sustains complex life on the planet. That's the dream of Dragon Dreaming. How do we liberate the, the human creativity and the commitment that is necessary to build a culture like that? The second part of Dragon Dreaming is that one can say that Dragon Dreaming is a design philosophy that brings about organization of successful projects and organizations. The third part of Dragon Dreaming, the doing stage, is that Dragon Dreaming is a set of toolboxes, of tips and techniques and methods that can be adapted to projects from all different kinds of circumstances. And the fourth part of Dragon Dreaming, the celebration stage of Dragon Dreaming, is that Dragon Dreaming is now a community of practitioners, internationally and worldwide, that support each other in making their dreams come true. Because Dragon Dreaming is a fractal process, this is happening all the time, these four stages, dreaming, planning, doing and celebrating. So in any step you do, you have all four steps. And um, the most important thing in Dragon Dreaming, and it's often missing in many projects, that's the reason why they get into burnout or uh, fail, it's uh, that people don't celebrate enough. So focus on celebration, to have celebration in every moment, to, to really harvest the ahas and to cultivate um, gratitude. It really helps. Gracias, gracias. Gracias, gracias, Pachamama. Gracias, gracias, Estrellitas. Gracias, gracias, Taita Inti. Y esta metodología, eh, una de las cosas importantes que tiene es que logra llegar a lugares donde metodologías tradicionales no logran llegar. Algo que ha supuesto un acercamiento entre este mundo del que venimos muchas personas de la empresa eh, más convencional, más racional, eh, más organizado, ¿no? Y un mundo alternativo, más intuitivo, eh, mucho menos organizado. Y el Dragon Dreaming permite unir los dos. Y esto hace que las dos cosas, los dos mundos se confluyan y tengan sentido, ¿no? Y creo que le da mucho sentido a la vida de muchas personas el ser capaces de unir esos dos mundos. It's about liberating your creativity and 
you becoming more fully human and more fully alive than you dreamed was possible. And when you dance with your dragons, when you make um, a project that liberates your fear, when you make your dreams come true, what happens is people come alive. There's a light in the eye that gets turned on that becomes unquenchable.